News Digest, 19th of March, 3310. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, there are medals for all as Legong falls. Canon research lights up the darkness and we participate in the latest trend. Following the destruction of Thargoid Titan Legong, the Pilots' Federation has once again decided to award medals to all commanders who visited the system, and to waive the requirement to inflict damage upon the Titan Heat Corps. Jade Sanderlin, Vox Galactica's opinionated commentator, gave what the Winking Cat described as a xenobituary for the fallen Titan, describing how its heat core succumbed to a sustained bombardment over the three days from Thursday to Saturday. Once again, there was a 24-hour evacuation period during which the Thargoid interceptors, hunters and scouts left the overheating Titan and commanders rescued as many hostages as possible before Titan Lagong exploded on Sunday evening. Aegis has said it's delighted that Professor Palin and Ram Tarr's joint invention, the Nanite Torpedo, has proved so effective in forcing the Titan to expose its vulnerable heat core. The Pilots' Federation has acknowledged that some commanders have experienced problems with the Titan's heat core becoming unresponsive to attack, and has generously agreed that all participants will be awarded the decal and the Thargoid carapace-themed Cobra Mark III ship kit. Those who actually inflicted damage on each of the eight hearts earned 100 arcs per heart. In future, to earn the cosmetic rewards, commanders will have had to inflict at least 2 million credits of damage on the Titan heat core in the week leading up to the Titan's destruction. However, before the next Titan, Oya, can be destroyed, it may take several weeks to fight off the Thargoids in the 33 systems it still controls. The wreckage of Titan Legong is not yet safe to enter. However, scavengers have been busy in the wreckage of Titan Tyrannis, rescuing a selection of rare items and materials, some of which are being used to keep the fast food chain McThargoids stocked with alien hearts and other choice offal. The baffling boffins of Canon Interstellar have achieved another galactic first by lighting up 30 Guardian beacons at exactly the same time. This scientific endeavour was attempting to discover whether activating all the beacons at once might reboot the Thargoid AI and fill the galaxy with millions of Guardian spaceships that would be naturally on our side and would eliminate the Thargoids once and for all. Oh, that Salvation's consciousness would be awoken and that he would return to lead humanity to victory against the Thargoids. Oh, well, they were at least hoping for something. What they got was a lot of fizzing blue electrical stuff and a stack of predominantly blue photographs. Nothing happened, which is at least a result to carefully record. But it's not going to get the scientific papers clamouring for an article. Or perhaps something did happen. Observers were keen to note that the beacons were lit at 20.30 on Saturday the 16th. Just over 30 minutes later, Titan Legong overheated. Could it be that it was not, after all, those hundreds of brave pilots who'd been shooting away at the heat vents and the heat core for three days, but in fact... The magic influence of lighting up 30 Guardian beacons thousands of light years away that caused Legong to explode. Who can possibly know? Inspired by the wonderful, amazing, inspiring and inventive Commander Alec Turner Here's our contribution to the 100 screenshots trend. Actually, we could only find a few screenshots. But we're sure you'll agree. They're truly 
astounding. That's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News. We activate the Guardian Beacons so you don't have to. 